Okay, I've got the same circuit basically as the PSEC variation number one, except I removed the 12 lead board and put a 48 lead board on it. What I want you to see is the variation. It's a lot easier to see when we're loading it more heavily. And you can see what's happening with the 48 lead panel. And this is the type of anomaly that I've experienced for years with this. I thought it was always diurnal, but it's not. It does vary throughout the 24-hour period. And you can see how it's shifting. And the, uh, my determination is that the actual frequency that I pick up to initially start the operation is shifting, and in turn, that's shifting the, the uh, PSEC to where it goes out of oscillation to the point, or I'm sorry, it does not go out of oscillation. What it does is merely shift its output frequency to where it doesn't pass properly through L3, and therefore we're not getting enough energy back in to run itself or run this lead board. You can see how that's acting. And here again, you see there's nothing underneath this guy. And uh, I've backed off considerably from it because I don't want to interact with the circuit, have my body interact or the camera interact with it. But you can see the type of thing that takes place as we just sit here and watch it. Uh, the intensity will increase and decrease. There we go. Now this is the frustration that you'll have in trying to replicate something like this in that uh, if it's the wrong time of day if your signal's varying, it just isn't going to work, folks. But isn't, uh, I would say that that's a pretty good demonstration of what I was talking about in Variation 1 as far as uh, its anomalous operational activity. It does change. It shifts. It increases. It decreases. And how many LEDs can you put on there? Many hundreds of LEDs. But what you'll find as you load it heavier and heavier, you'll find that it's more and more sensitive to that excitation variation. And now you see we've reached a period where it's uh, far more stable. Go in here and there's that red LED again off of that AV plug going down to the board. There's our power rail and our thousand mic that's on the power rail. The AV plug that's back to back with the one powering the circuit. And again this clip lead which is coming back here and just laying over the top. There's no connection there at all. Uh, you don't want a connection. If you try to connect it you're going to defeat the whole purpose and kill the operation. 